Jay Happ. Well, he'll be facing the Orioles for the first time. This is his sixth game, or sixth start, I should say, of the season. Brad Bergeson, the 23-year-old from Fairfield, California, making his 12th start of the season. It's likely won't play this evening. That one's pulled toward the hole. It's shortstop right past the dive of Pedro Feliz. And it's a left field. So, Ryan Roberts is aboard to start things off in the top of the first. Here's Nick Marcakis with a runner on first base. This could be two. Rollins to second for one. An easy double play. Ball four, and Jones is aboard with a two out walk. Line drive towards center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Played on a hop by Victorino, who quickly gets the throw in. And he misses down again. Ball four, and the bases are loaded. Second walk of the inning by J. Happ. Got him. Foul tip into the glove of Bacco, and the inning is over. First strikeout of the night for Jay Happ. Count is 0-2 to Jimmy Rollins. And he lines one on one hop towards shortstop, and Dino with the off-balance throw in time with the pick by Huff. That out for an infield base hit. Chopper toward the middle, and Dino again. This one is a little easier. They had a pretty good rhythm going. Check swing. One hopper at Andino. Third try of the inning. And the third try is just as good as the first two. One, two, three, go the Phillies here at the bottom of the first. They have two switch hitting catchers. Back toward the middle on one hop into center field. And Dino hitting 241. And he hits one the opposite way, a base hit. Chase Utley tried to dupe Zahn, but he's going to continue on to third. The throw by Worth, not in time. Two hands out and patted it up and down. And I guess he was telling him, look at, look at Paul Bacco on a diving grab. And there's out number one. I think he was telling Greg Zahn to hold up, but there's no doubt Greg Zahn had to hold up on that one. Can't find his way home. Pop up, right field. Might be deep enough to score Zahn. Worth is under it. Zahn is tagging. Jason gets behind it. Zahn breaks and then stops. And Dino will go to second base, but the runner holds it third. Chopper over the mound. Tough play coming. Utley's got it. Throws off balance just in time to get Marquez. And again, Jay Happ works out of a jab. Take a picture of the lineup. And he hits this one in the air to straightaway center field. Jones is back. He's got room. And he makes the catch. Bothers the hitter also. Chopper toward third. Wigginton. He throws out Jason and they're two away. Chopper toward the middle. That's going to sneak into center field. A base hit. First hit of the night for the Bills. And it comes with two outs here at the bottom of the second inning. In the air to center field. Adam Jones will go back. And he makes the grab. And he records two of the outs here in the bottom of the second inning. He was thrown in the 90s in high school. Pulls that one. Elise has it. Has to hurry. It does. Just missed with that one. Ball four. I think Baco wanted it. The Bay Rays. Pop up. Center of the diamond. Wynn's going to take it to chase up the side of the field. And he puts it away for the second out. Fly ball is shallow right field. Jason Worth coming on. And that's going to finish off this inning. 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And Baco's down on strikes. One away. We're in a little bit of a rain delay, but they have restarted that ball game. As half is retired on a 3 1 put out here in Philadelphia. Little looper back a third, and Dino on the run makes the basket catch. What a play by Robert and Dino to rob Jimmy Rollins of a base hit. Ball four. And half has walked four now in this game, and those are two pretty close pitches. Walking, but here in the major leagues, you got to be able to get that down. Good and pitch. Then he comes back with that high fastball. Ferguson bunts it right back to the mound. Half has it. Thought he had a play at second. Instead, goes to first, and he got the sure out. Zahn stumbled around that second base bag. On the hands, a looper caught out of the air by Pedro Feliz. So Jay Happ strands another runner. This one in scoring position at second base. He's through four. And a fly ball to center field. Adam Jones makes his third put out of the night. Chased out on strikes. That's the second out and the second strikeout for Ferguson. Fly ball, shallow left field. Long run for Luke Scott, but he's there. And he puts it away. That ball carried. Here you are with kids around your same age. 
Yeah, they call strike three. Barkakis down looking. Adam Jones lays down a butt. Gonna be a tough play for Felice. Bare hands throws off balance. Not in time. You think he could pop it out of the park if they needed to. Aubrey Huff to left center field. Victorino on the run. It's telling away from him. And it splits the gap and heads to the wall. And now Jones, after that leadoff butt, is around third. And he's going to score. An RBI double for Huff. So it pays off for the Orioles. Yeah, it sure did pay off for them. Nine hitter with 396 stolen bases. Huff is going to be held at third as Stairs gets to that quickly. It's a single for Wigginton. Time. Call. Strike three. And there's the strikeout you were talking about, Sarge. Broken bat roller, left side. Feliz has it, has plenty of time, and the inning is over. Hap does give up a run, but he strands two more. Back with the O's. Worked out for him. He hits that one off the foot of Bergeson, and a nice play by Andino to throw out Worth 1 6 3 on the putout. Strikes battling and hitting the ball the way he should up the middle. This will be a little easier play for Andino. Who has been very busy tonight for the Orioles. In the air down the left field line. Over into foul territory. And Dino is there. Puts it away. And it's the final out here of the fifth inning. You don't really care what he does offensively. Because he's played a pretty good game defensively. And he smokes one toward right field. Backing up his worth. He can't get it. It's off the base of the wall. Jason has it. But Andino's at second base. With a leadoff double here in the top of the sixth inning. Ferguson bunts it left side, half off the mound, looks at third, and he gets the out at first. Field in with one out here in the top of the sixth. And Roberts sends it in the air to center field. That should be deep enough to score Andino. Victorino's under it, makes the catch. Andino can walk home from third. And the Orioles lead it two to nothing. Line drive, that's going to slice toward the gap in left center field. Victorino gets to it quickly. And will hold Mark Kakis to a single. They made a mistake. Little number in front of the plate. This will be a tough play. Half off the mound. Has to hurry. And it's not in time. This should be the inning as Matt Stairs goes back. Now has to come in. And he makes the catch. And the inning is over. Last of the sixth inning. Paul Bacco leads it off. And he rips one into right field. A base hit. Just the second hit of the night for the Phillies. Pulls it towards shortstop. This could be two. And Dino to second for one. Roberts real quick to first. And it is two. A 6 4 3 double play. It's that one in the air to right. Markakis misread it initially, but he has plenty of time to recover. And Ferguson is now through six innings. He's allowed just two hits here at Citizens Bank Park. In the air, shallow right center field. Utley on the run. Can't get it. And it drops right beyond him. That the real bird that the bird had left back toward the middle off the body of Durbin and that's going to be a, a base hit for Luke Scott line drive base hit to left center field they're going to hold Wiggins to at third as the throw comes over the head of Dobbs and that's a big strikeout right there by Chad Durbin and now Burgesson chops one toward third could be two Feliz to the plate for one Bacco to first not in time. Boy, that guy really busted it down the line. Sure did. Ball four, and he forces it a run. Three nothing, Baltimore. League play. And a called strike three. Markakis is rung up for the second time tonight. Shane slices one the opposite way. On the run is Luke Scott. He can't get it over his head. A one hopper to the wall. And Shane has extended his hitting streak to nine straight games. A one down the left field line. If it's fair, it's going to be a run. It's a fair ball. And it's rolling to the wall. Back to back doubles for the Phillies. And they're on the board for the first time in 14 innings. Matt lines one to right field a base hit. Utley and froze between second and third, so he'll hold up at third. And he breaks his back. Bat goes out toward third. Wigginton sidesteps it. And that's the first out of the seventh inning. 
A line drive, base hit, and the Phillies are going to be within one. Stairs to second, he'll hold up there. You don't want to test the arm of Bartekis. It's an RBI single for Dobbs, and it's three to two. Line drive to center field. Jones going back, stairs tagging. He makes the catch. And Stairs will tag up and go to third. About 24 hours ago, he had a temperature of 104. Spent some time at a local hospital. He was dehydrated, battling a fever over the last 24 hours. And Ryan Howard, well, maybe that fever is broken. It's one of the air to straightaway center field. Jones on the run. Warning track. He did it again. Deep into the Phillies bullpen. A three-run pitch hit home run for Ryan Howard. How about that? Off the bench with a fever. And he has sent this crowd into a Philadelphia fever. As the Phillies now have taken the lead. Five to three. Courtesy of the McDonald's home run jackpot. Here's Carlos Ruiz as a pitch hitter, and he'll be retired. And boy, they took advantage of it. Jones lines one to center field, coming out as Victorino, and it hangs up there for him. One away. He pitched well. And he gets Huff on a strikeout here, second out here in the eighth Do inning. Good job and get out of there. And he got him, swinging on a slider, winging to down on strikes, back to back strikeouts for Chad Hall Park. Was the team. He's been quite light with it. And he lines this one into center field at base hit, right off the end of the bat. Ooh. Oh, man. I like thought he, he said ball. It's like he flipped a coin then before he called that in the screen. Q shot caught by Wigginton. And no chance to double anybody up and two away. Back toward the middle, slow roller. Roberts has it, and Victorino's retired to finish up the inning. Pop up. Left side, playable. The leads. One away. In the air to right field, it's deep. Worth is back, and this is going to be a one run game. That's a pretty long home run from Greg Zahn. And the Phillies' lead is now one, five to four. Chopper toward third, right at Pedro. Two away. Chopper right side. Dobbs watches it go through the hole. A base hit. And the Orioles have the tying run on first. In the air to right field, it's deep. Work is back to the warning track to the wall. And the Orioles have taken the lead. A two run home run from Brian Roberts. Oh boy. And Baltimore is on top six to five. Second home run of the inning allowed by Ryan Matson. And just when you thought things had turned for the Phillies in the positive, they flip right back around. Oh, and one to Marcakis who pops it up to left center field. Brutlet is over. And the inning is over. But the Orioles score three runs at the top of the ninth inning. Goes, pops it up, straight away center field. Adam Jones puts it away for the first down. There's a looper to center field. Jones waits for it, and there are two outs. And a swing and a miss, and the Phillies have lost five consecutive games. They had a one-run lead. Or two run lead, excuse me, going into the top of the ninth inning. And the Orioles scored three runs, two home runs, a solo shot, and a two run bomb by that guy, our Chevrolet player of the game, Brian Roberts. His two run home run, the difference in this ball game, as the Orioles come from behind in their final at bat to hand the Phillies their fifth consecutive loss.